Hi everyone, Aiden Starfang here. Uh, before we jump into the video, I just wanted to pop in and give a brief overview of sorts. The original video was almost two hours long, I believe. It was about an hour and 45 minutes, and I trimmed it down to 23 minutes. There was a lot of extra, extra content that I didn't feel was uh, germane or contributory to the overall topic of the video, which was, you know, following the train tracks from where I did several months ago behind Harmon's all the way to its end. Granted, I do find an end of sorts. It's not like the end, the end, because let's face it, that would have been like, you know, probably a 16 hour video and I'm on foot, mind you. So that wasn't going to happen. Um, I did my best to brighten the video and enhance the audio so that you can see and hear better than actually what I could see in here. And because otherwise, it would just literally be me walking around in pitch blackness. Um, there are a few things I stumble upon that uh, have some mildly disturbing implications. I'm not going to say what it is, but I'm just putting out a warning. It's uh, in the middle and near the end of the video. And uh, with that, I uh, hope you enjoy. And feel free to follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Aiden Starfang. Also on Facebook at Starfang Productions. And I'll see you in the next one. So tonight, we are going to kind of be revisiting a spot that I've been a couple times before, out here in the, uh, I call it the back roads, the disused tracks, because those tracks have since been removed. So they're no longer train tracks. Of course, this area, like so many others, is a completely different atmosphere uh, from night and day. So there's lots of shit like this really, really overran behind the Airy building, which is why I have a hard time believing that the last time it was in use was only 2018. I saw, saw some animals moving around. And that light, I think someone lives up there because it has noticeable graffiti on it, unlike these other lights. There are also more mattresses down here, and those are gone. So maybe police do come down here to move stuff. Like, it's a rug, that's new, a blanket. We're gonna keep following this trail. We're under, not the underpass, because that's the over underpass. This is that little pipe system, irrigation system, whatever you call it. And they put razor wire on it so kids or whoever can. I guess it's a pre prevention to prevent people trying to do tricks on it or play on it so then they can't get hurt and sue the city. As you can see, the railroad tracks are completely gone. You can see splinters of them, remnants, but uh, they came 
and pulled them out at some point. I'm actually surprised they made a concentrated effort to do that. But there's like little apartment townhomes over there. Random ass fucking house out here. A light just went off. Oh, they got a horse. How do you like that? The remnants of these train tracks. I should have followed these all the way out in that uh, other video. Maybe I'll do an update and include this in it. This is all just train track. Stuff that these aren't even used anymore. Trains literally don't come through here. This was the only set of train tracks. That was the only last remaining. See, they pulled all this other stuff out. They left those back behind there. I think those that's an apartment or a business back there. I'm not sure. I've never seen the AFCU headquarters from this angle before. That looks like the Shinra building. We are behind the Ogden Gateway. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, not well. There are some cool looking planes. And there's one. I believe it's landing. I believe it is landing. Yeah, it's landing. How cool is that? That's neat. And of course there's lights on in the hangars. Oh, he wasn't landing, he was taking off. Jesus Christ, I'm an idiot. Yeah, he's taking off. <laughs> Yep, he's taken off. Cornerstone Aviation. Oh, it's a flight school. Oh. Oh. This is like fucking Children of the Corn. You could tell the tracks used to be here because there's all these rocks were in between the train tracks, like the little, I don't know what you call it. What part of town is that? It's just a quiet little neighborhood. Doesn't this look spooky? I want to be on the other side of that wall. I want to go back home. So we've been following the tracks since Harmon's. Since coming through the underpass. Let me see more remains of the train tracks. And there's a lot of junk out here. Like a lot of junk. Baby seats. A box spring for a mattress, for a bed. 
and uh, looks like the end of a sectional. I don't know what that is. A speaker? Jenga? Some trees. More children of the corn looking fucking things. What is that? Looks like a broken ceramic dish, like a plate or something, all the way out here. If I find some creepy abandoned looking homes out here, I'm absolutely gonna film. Because that's the tea. <laughs> because how often are you gonna find shit like that? This is like the remotes. What is that? Is that toilet paper? This is really, <laughs> really soft. Oh my god. It's textbook paper. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Hello? Anybody hanging out? There's like boots. Someone's camp, backpacks. <clears throat> really old shirts, a baseball. It's like someone's makeshift little camp. Boots. Just off the side of the freeway. <laughs> A lot of junk. my stick at Is this where the people were living when the fire started? There's a fire that started. Oh my god. This is too fucking much. 
too fucking much. There's a fire that started. I'm trying to remember when. It was earlier this year. I'm not sure, but I think it was from this area. Bike. Oh, fuck you. What is that? A shirt. Well, I guess I could have just gone around this way for all the good that, that it did. People are definitely living and cooking down here. Just a big mess. Bottles. A few months ago, so this is more in the open. I think I'm going to get out of here. More train posts. Very creepy. I saw it looked like a fort, or obviously not a kid's fort. Like a homeless camp. I thought I heard someone talking. Hello? It really smells strong of like cologne. Like cologne perfume. And it sounded like people were talking. Or someone kept saying something, like muttering something. I think this is officially it. I think this is officially the end of the line, of the road. I think we are officially in Ogden. I think this is Ogden, on this nice little train bridge. Fuck. It's like someone is standing out there, like watching me and then moving every few paces. What the hell? I'd love to get a view of this bridge though. This rail bridge. Ugh. Something that isn't sharp rocks to step on. I would like to get a shot of this rail bridge though. That's a lot nicer to walk on than 
this fucking rocks. This whole area is so fucked up. I mean, I guess it makes sense because it is like, you know, secluded. My God, is it fucked up? That kind of reminds me of the African savanna. All that tall grass with the trees. Just so weird to me, like, nighttime you think would be the perfect time. And I was for certain I was gonna stumble into someone and there was nobody down there. I'm now realizing just how inefficient this light is on my camera. It's like super inefficient. The whole area is super fucking weird. I swear, when I reached like the area with the railway bridge, I kept hearing movement in the grass, like not like locusts or crickets, like someone or something big. And I could when I kept hearing what sounded like someone talking, like even if it was just them murmuring, like <clears throat> that's what it sounded like to me. Oh, the sky looks really weird. I've seen tr a train track, cargo train, come through here exactly once in the last 20 years, and I think it was back in 2010, 2011. I think it was the last time I lived here. Actually, it might have been more recent than that. It might have been 2015, 2016. And that was it. I've never seen any other <laughs> trains going through there. This is the part of the video where I ask myself, why? Why did I insist on fucking walking out here? So this night just keeps getting weirder and weirder. I found these kid clothes. Really young baby clothes. Like toddler clothes. And it's over on the no trespassing side, but I see my curiosity was peaked. I was over here. And I saw the grass was smushed down, condensed. And so I was like, why is the grass flattened over there? Maybe there's steps, a walking trail to get out. I don't know. I don't know this part of town. So I go and I look. And there's clothes. Which at first I kind of thought those looked kind of small. I wasn't sure they are kid clothes. Yeah, they're kids clothes. Why the fuck are there baby clothes all the way out here in the fucking remotes? I don't fucking get it, man. I don't get it. So, if you were to go on vacation, where would you go? I would probably go to California to see my relatives there. That's a very safe choice because there's people I know there. Um, if I were to go anywhere on vacation, especially by myself, it would be a populous place. Just because I, I don't know, I, like, I, feel, I feel like I would be safer in a more populous city. Airport is so cool. All these little planes. They're not very big either. Those are like two or three seater planes. They're not like, they're not very big at all. Oh, you know what? This is the um, pilot school building. That's why. This is the pilot school. And they do have like a normal little like plane, but it's like a smaller plane, like a jet. Like a, a private jet or whatever you call those. Yeah, this is the pilot school. That's why. That's, that's really gotten me interested in trying to get my uh, pilots, or not pilots, my learn about airplane mechanics. Have a fucking career going. 
instead of, oh, hi, Pizza Hut, are you hiring? Thank you. Hi, Arby. Like, I'm tired of this shit. Like, seriously, they say a job is a job, but you know what? It comes to a point where a fucking job ain't gonna cut it. You need something better. So whether you make that something better yourself, like what I've been trying to do with my art with YouTube, or you go to school 